Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and the second vlog in this mini-series here from the Blackpool Attractions. If you haven't already, check out yesterday's vlog from the iconic Blackpool Tower. Went up to the top, got some incredible views and even walked out on the glass skywalk up there where the views are pretty stunning and you really get to appreciate the structure itself. In this vlog, I'm visiting another attraction here on the Blackpool Promenade. It is, of course, the Sea Life Centre. It's another attraction that's operated by Merlin Entertainments and this is great. It's actually one of the largest aquariums here in the UK. Lots of different exhibits to see, lots of different species of fish, of course, that I'm looking forward to sharing in this vlog with you all. And yeah, it's got some great theming as well, an awesome tunnel that takes you through uh, one of the largest tanks in the country. It's great inside there. So yeah, come and join me. We'll head over the road just here and uh, go for a tour around the Sea Life Centre here in Blackpool. So I've now crossed the road and made my way inside and here you can see a map just here in the entrance that shows you a look at just how big this sea life centre is. It's probably my favourite sea life in the UK actually this one. Like I say it's pretty big, it's got some large tanks, a great variety of fish and also the theming in here is excellent. So yeah just waiting to get in and yeah we'll make our way upstairs. So they're actually celebrating their 30th anniversary here at Sea Life Blackpool. So here we go. Yeah, let's make our way up the steps just here. Love all the coral theming just here. Now yeah, we head up this way to start the experience. Like I say, the theming in here is really good. Like they've done so many improvements to the Sea Life Centres over the past few years. And this one seems to have had the most improvements in my opinion. I think it's brilliant. Right then, let's start off here in the Rock Pool. So these are actually touch pools. So you got starfish in here, crabs. But yeah, everything in here you can actually touch. Very gently, of course. You're right in there, mate. You must like it really cold inside there because of all the condensation that's on your tank. Yeah, I love all the different theme in and objects that they put into the different tanks. Makes it a lot more exciting for the fish as well, doesn't it? Having things to swim around. Oh, well, these are quite cool. Love those. Very subtle movement, nice and relaxing. I think that's the thing with fish. It's fun and really relaxing to watch. Yeah, they must like it cold. Look at that, it's proper steaming up. It's freezing, they are. Oh, look at this down here. You're out there, mate. It's waiting for him to jump then and give you all a good jump scare. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got nice lips there, haven't you? Oh, what a lovely fish. <laughs> yeah, he's massive. Got another one here as well. Both friends. I think he's trying to chase that one. It's like, um, that's me running off and here's Charlotte. Sean, wait for me! Wait for me, Sean! <laughs> yeah, so the decorations and the lighting and audio all really come together here. All the ceilings have got decoration on as well. We've got the shipwreck just over there. All the water pouring out. They seem to do a great job with the theming. See one of the rays over there. I think he's enjoying the splash from this little uh, waterfall over here. Got the boys just bobbing away over there. There we go. You see anything down here? There he is. That's the thing with these sea life centers. Great for kids as well, you know, because you can just duck down here and get some great views into the tanks. Hello, you're on Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> oh, love the lighting in this tank just here. We've got the common starfish just in here. Sorry, you're not very special, fella. You're just a bit common. <laughs> yeah, we've got quite a few of the common starfish. One down there. Here's one on the side as well. Hiding behind the sign there, are you, mate? Is that because you're common? Oh, don't worry, I don't think you're common. I think you're quite special. So just before we head down into one of my favourite sections, the harbour, just thought I'd show you the ray breeding pool just over here. 
The good thing is with these sea life centers, they put a lot of information boards up as well, um, such as the one just here, telling you all sorts of information about what's actually going on in some of the tanks here at the sea life centers. So it says how ray babies stay in their egg cases for up to 12 months. Just lots of little fascinating facts, of course, that they like to share. Here we go. You see some of the eggs just down there among all the other fish. So peaceful with the music in here. Lots of different benches as well, where you can just sit down away from people and just take it all in, which is nice. But yeah, I love this here. Oh, you're right there, mate. You're in the boat, you're in the shipwreck. There's some good theming down here as well. Here we go. Kissing arch. Bit of forced perspective going on there. That's quite a good little bit of theming. Just got the UV light up there at the top. You got the vault. I can hear them all singing in there in the pub. You're right in there, guys. Pour me a beer. I'll be with you later. <laughs> See what I mean? Like just the theming and decor. It's definitely the best sea life centre in the country, in my opinion. We'll go to the right, and I'll just show you inside this tank. cuddle down there. Are you in love? You need to get up to the kissing arch just up that way. These two look a bit lost down here. Are you okay? You're looking for the kissing arch? It's that way. Not too busy in here today either, considering I'm filming this on a weekend, it's a Sunday today. Thought it'd be really busy, but yeah, it's not too bad at all. A little look through here. Oh, yeah, come around this way. There you go. So yeah, we can see this one around at the other side. This is just like a little sneak peek. There you go, that's where we were looking through just. And there's a look into the main part of the tank. So yeah, the awesome decoration continues here with the sea cave. Very tropical style vibe going on in here. We can also walk up the steps just there in a moment through the shark window. Stingray adventure. Yeah, if you love stingrays, they've got plenty of rays here for you to enjoy. Hello. Oh, love them all. Shark. Their eyes look so evil, don't they, on sharks? Look at him coming towards us. It's like Jaws. Theme Park World Wide version. <laughs> oh, but yeah, your kids can also go down there as well. All big kids can crawl through that section. <laughs> Oh, I love the rays. tunnel just over there as well so we'll be taking a walk through there later in the attraction but yeah we're going to carry on back down this way now this takes us down towards kingdom of the seahorse oh, just come to do my hoovering here at sea life black pool here we go what we do grab the ball that's it oh i'm gonna move it all around this way oh i've lost it there we go just do my hoovering <laughs> Got my Henry out. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, Sean. Oh no! I lost it. Got him. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's it. There we go. It's going mad. How's it go? Okay, what? We'll just we'll just put it there. Oh, it's stuck. So we've got the big belly seahorse over in this one. So yeah, they've got the different screens up, giving you lots of information. 
There we are. Oh, some of them down here, just at the bottom, twirling around that rope. I don't see any of the others though. Plenty more to see, I'm sure, when we head down this way. Clownfish just over here, aka Nemo from Finding Nemo. <laughs> One of my all time favourite films. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Take a nice photo there, actually, for Instagram. If you don't already, give us a follow at Theme Park Worldwide over on Instagram. We post regular stories every day on there as well when we're visiting different attractions. And that gives you a little preview, of course, of what's to come in the vlogs. Into the coral reef area now. The UV section. Very nice in here with the theme in. Yeah, it's like you're kind of in a submarine down here with all the decor. Hello. You're out there. Oh, you like to be in the vlog? It's rare. Normally the fish just turn away. Yeah, we've got some jellyfish over in here. Love the jellyfish. You can actually change the colour of them here as well. It's quite a nice little feature. There you go. So we've changed it over now to red. Just chilling out there, floating away. Oh my god, it's Dory! Hi Dory! <laughs> Beautiful coloured fish they are, aren't they? Really nice with the blue, black and yellow. Stunning. What have we got down here? We've got the uh, juvenile garden eels. Down here, you're right there, just poking out of the sun. Wouldn't fancy being on Blackpool Beach and one of them coming out. I'd soon go running, I'd be packing up my sunburn on my deck chair. <laughs> Leaving our submarine now into the rainforest. Yeah, the details are great. I mean, just look at the sign here with all the leaves around. They do a really good job at theming. Love the waterfall just there. Uh, gives you a little preview through into the next part of the rainforest. Looking for a Caribbean hermit crab in there. Coming in from the left, Wicker Man down there. Big Bob from Alton Towers, Wicker Man. Here in the tropical rainforest. But yeah, I really appreciate the fact that you put all the decoration on the roofs. So yeah, we've got the big dome there. So this dome allows the fish to see the world from a different point of view, like at the top of Blackpool Tower. There you go. Nice little upsell for the other attractions there as well. Even the floor is themed in here as well. It's like a really rocky kind of terrain in here. The silver hatchet fish just over here. And oh no, danger. We've got piranha over here on the bridge. Yeah, we're gonna have to cross over and see some piranha. Here they are, the red belly piranha, size of up to 33 centimeters. You normally find these in rivers. Fun fact for you, here you go. The word piranha means fish tooth. Wouldn't fancy putting my hand in there with them, would you viewers? I do not like the look of them. There's not just fish on display here. We've got the giant African millipede inside there, the Madagascar hissing cockroach as well. And yeah, big snail somewhere as well. Oh, the spider in there as well, tarantula. There you go. <laughs> You're out there. Yeah, look away now if you don't like spiders. Let's have a bit of a zoom into him, shall we? There he is. Just chilling down there. Would have give you a big scare then if it had jumped, wouldn't it? <laughs> Around this way towards the ocean tunnel now. 
nice little uh, upsell over here as well of course from mud to swords and that's going to be the next vlog coming up here on theme park worldwide isn't it we'll see you there so this is definitely the best part of the experience here at Sea Life Blackpool, if not any aquarium to be honest, heading into the Ocean Tunnel. And this is one of the biggest and best in the country. I love it in here, it's got like a proper room in the middle that you can just relax in and take it all in. 360 degree views of all the fish, so yeah we'll make our way around here shortly and I'll show you some of the awesome views from the Ocean Tunnel. swimming overhead in here, rays, all sorts. And you got this guy just chilling down here, look. Just having a bit of a rest. There he is, you right there, mate. And then you got the huge turtle up there, absolutely love him. Look at the size of him, massive. So graceful, just swimming around. And then you got this little fella just chilling down here. Yeah, like I say, you got this section, which is quite rare in a sea life centre. It's like a big room <coughs> with all the roof over. So yeah, in here we've got the white tip reef shark. Oh, I like how they put a fan in here, especially on a nice hot day. Theme Park Worldwide's biggest fan, that is. <laughs> I'm sure I've said that joke way too many times in these vlogs. Trying to spot that nice big turtle again. He's somewhere. Don't know where, but he's in here. Got the uh, part of the crash plane just over here as well. Where is he? He's somewhere swimming about. earlier on from the little balcony up the top there. Look at the shape of him there, he's so thin. Oh, there's a turtle just over there. Absolutely massive. Like this guy just flying above us. Gorgeous. So we've got some more awesome photo opportunities around here. King Neptune, you can sit in the chair just there. And also you've got this massive truck just over here as well. Yeah, I think this is all new. Well, at least since I last came anyway. Put all this photo opportunity in, which is quite cool. Yeah, you can go around the top and sit in there. And of course you've got the little uh, part of the aquarium up there at the top as well. Now it's not all about the main ocean tunnel. You've got the ocean tank view from here. This is probably the most impressive view. You can just sit at the back and take it all in and relax and watch all of the wonderful fish and sharks and rays and that huge turtle just come past you. Yeah, this is a brilliant view just here. So you can see where we were before, just inside there. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see that turtle come past again shortly because I love him, he's my favourite. He's great. This guy, oh, you all right there? Just doing a little uh, photo bomb. <laughs> you got the, the guy still chilling down there. Oh, there he is. Gorgeous. He's my favorite. I love him. So relaxing, just sitting here at the back, looking out and seeing that fantastic view of the main ocean tank here at Sea Life in Blackpool. Stunning, my favorite place is to sit here and just chill out. And watching fish just swim around, it is really relaxing, isn't it? Especially with the music and lighting and theming that they put inside here. Just really adds to the overall experience. Really does. So there we go then, made our way now through into the gift shop. Of course, we've got lots of different items for Sea Life here. I do quite like these mugs actually, with the sharks on. I like how they're embossed as well, you know, which is nice, like the turtle and the shark. 
that just kind of stick out from the mug, which is nice. You got all the plastic ones here too, but yeah, I definitely prefer the proper mugs just there. These are quite cute, aren't they, with the faces on? Not too sure about him, but yeah, these are quite nice at the side. Panning for shark teeth, £3.50. There you go, so you got all sorts of different uh, shark teeth in there. A bit like your classic sort of panning for gold attractions. Yeah, and lots of stuff with sea life on. It's nice to actually see something with sea life Blackpool on. I said this when I did the London sea life a few weeks ago. Check out that little series of vlogs if you've not already seen it. Especially if you've got a Merlin pass or you're planning on getting one in the future. Shows you exactly what you can do with your pass and the attractions to visit. But yeah, normally they don't actually put the location on. It's just as like a generic sea life branding. Kind of like these bags, for example, and, and the t-shirts. You know, they don't say Blackpool on. Just generic sea life. They're quite nice for kids, aren't they? And of course, well, you've got all your plush toys in here as well. And finally then, just before we head outside and wrap up this vlog, and I make my way down to Madame Tussauds, just to show you all the key rings that they've got here as well. Loads of key rings. Get your car keys attached onto uh, Nemo just there. <laughs> yeah, really nice selection and quite a large gift shop down here as well. We've actually got a little VR experience over there as well, similar to actually what they've got over in the uh, Blackpool Tower. Right, let's head down the steps and back out onto the promenade. Back outside on the promenade then, after a wonderful visit there to the Blackpool Sea Life Centre. Honestly, it's great. I love how relaxing it is, just walking past all the exhibits in there, uh, taking it all in with the audio, the lighting, the theming. It all comes together in an overall fantastic experience that I definitely recommend. It's one of my favourite aquariums in the UK, if not my favourite, to be honest, because of the theming in there and just overall experience. It's nice and big. I mean, you can spend a good couple of hours looking around in there if you really want to and just take it all in. There's no sort of pressure to walk around fast you can sit down in different areas take it all in and enjoy the experience but yeah it's really nice in there and it's definitely the best ocean tank the main ocean tunnel in there is the best in the country in my opinion out of all the aquariums that i've been to we've got the seagull back just here as well i've the seagull everybody he made a little uh, cameo at the end of the vlog just uh, from the blackpool tower uh, but if you haven't already like i say check out that vlog went up the blackpool tower i had a great time up there and the views were lovely and up next i'm actually filming the third and final vlog in this little Blackpool Attractions mini-series from Madame Tussauds, which is literally just down the promenade, only a couple of minutes walk away um, from Blackpool Tower and also the Sea Life Centre as well. So come and join me tomorrow in the third and final vlog from this little mini-series. It's so nice to see Blackpool busy. I mean, the beach is nice and busy down here, the attractions. Honestly, it's just so nice to see people back out again, having a good time and supporting these theme parks and different leisure attractions as well. Um, but yeah, Sea Life was great and on to Madame Tussauds now. Next. I'm Sean Sandbrook. Thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide. And that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the next vlog.